Okay, part two. Finally. Now, see? You see how it looks? Now, this is not the same hair that you saw in the picture with the peach dress when I was with my daughter. That one was a different one. I actually used black, black for all this part, 1B. And then I used my own um, Milky Way, the one that's, um, the root was 1B, and then the rest was 30. That's the one I actually used. That was from leftover hair. This one is leftover hair, too, but, you see? And then, um, I used the closure. Not the closure they gave me, I just did my own closure so I could keep the closure for an important hair that I don't know how to close. Now, um, this one, the one with me, with my daughter, and I had my makeup on, um, with a white tank, that video, I actually, this is from the mini bump, this one, but number two, and, um, I'm trying to, in case you guys don't know what I'm doing, I'm trying to find the back of this thing. Okay, I can't find it, so I'll just put it in anyway. Anyway. See? This one is the same, it's not the same hair, it's the same hairstyle. Okay, I guess this is the front. Okay. It's the same hairstyle, but it's 430. Now, what I did with this one... I um, just went, because that, that was my first time making a cap, I went in a circular motion. Because when I sew, I sew in a circular motion. So to just be on the safe side, I did that. So anyway, you just go in a circular circular motion until you get up to the front, and then you put the closure. I got a, a different closure, and now I hate it. But anyway, I got a different closure from my beauty supply store. But see... I did that because also when you fix it, it gives you a little side bangs as you guys saw on the picture. See? And I, I love the movement. I really do love sensational in their movement. Now, what I do when I normally do my caps, I put the plastic on there just like you guys saw in my other video about the mushroom. And I put it on the mannequin. But I stretch the cap first and I put it in the, and then put it in the mannequin. I, I, on this part of the cap, like the darker black part, this stretchy part... Never put hair on it, because once you put glue hair on that part, you cannot put the cap back in and on, in and out. I, I wait until I'm done with the cap. Like, after I put the closure, I wait five minutes, and then I peel the plastic out of it. And then I put it back on the mannequin. Or if you're going to put it on your head, if you have time, depending if it's not late at night, you put it back in your head and sit there and wait for it to completely dry so it could stay, mold your head. Now, I wait until, for me, I wait until it finished completely dry. Now, when I put the cap on, you still see this black part. Then that's when I glue hair to this part. But I don't glue a whole section. I never glue in the back or nothing like that. I always glue in the front. Then I glue what part is showing when I put the cap on. Then I glue more tracks on it. But I never glue in the circular motion that, that way. Because if you do, you cannot put the cap back on. I learned that the hard way. And let's see. Um, I showed you these. Let me show you my not my last one, but this one. Which one? Now the one that you saw me with the black pearls. I mean, with the white pearls with the black shirt. That one I got. That one from Sin City. If you look at her 27, the one that says 27 piece again, that the same way she did hers is the same exact way I did mine. The same exact way. Because I saw it, because I had left over here, I just saw her video, I was like, she didn't use the longer pieces. She used the very short, short, short pieces. So that's what I'm going to do. And I had long, left over here, and that's what I did. And look, as you can see in the picture with my makeup, I look flawless. This one, I got this one from Harajuku... Uh, Harajuku Barbie 1982. I followed her pattern, but except she knows how to cut. I don't know how to cut. So if you person you don't know how to cut, buy 27 piece. Now, from this one, from the 33 one that I had all left over, I had some hair left over since I only used two of the longer pieces, two rows, just for to hide the baby hair. Um, I had some more left over. So I used it for this. Now, in the um, picture with me with the gray tank and the black earrings, this is the same hair. Now, see, one thing I love about this hair, you could make it into a mohawk 
but in my case as the picture I just swooped it to the side and had it up like this because I was going for something like a little wave difference this one like I told you I let the cap dry and then when I saw the little cap then I glued my pieces my black pieces but anyway I went norm I went normal I did the same thing her Juku did but a little different I went um just like she said when you get here just make all the hair go to here which I did but over here I just went normal backwards normal backwards no more backwards no more, with the um red pieces with the 33 pieces now on the outer part of it I put the black inside I put the 33 pieces so with your longer ones just go normal back normal flip it flip it flip it flip it flip it flip it until you get right here and then you make them all go one so it could so that way you can play with it a little bit make a little mohawk if you want or you know like I did in a picture like that or you could even brush it down to tell you the truth but um, what's the point in that now um, this one is the mushroom one the mushroom one, I actually... Hold on. The mushroom one, just like, um... Destiny Godly. Yeah, Destiny Godly did. I used the same one. I used the... This cap. The weaving net. I didn't use a regular cap. And I, you know, I, I, I did what she did. I flipped it backwards and stuff like that. But I did decide to keep the sideburns. I really did like it. I used the six inch. I gave myself a real diva. Um, whoop, real Rihanna tail right here. Because it curls up since it was a... Uh, I used uh, the um, six inch uh, feathered six inch. The H1B slash pu that's the one i use because it comes with the purple and the purple don't come in the hair it's two separate purple ones but anyway if you can see this is it yay i have not i did not take a picture with it yet i will take a picture i was i thought the i did take a picture actually at the club i thought they was gonna put it up on facebook they didn't put the pictures up anyway see and i put the little highlight and then you turn it around they go a little bump bump and then I use 27 I did use the 27 though because she knows how to cut I'm not again I'm not a cutter she knows how to cut this is my first time even messing with short hair so I use the one row of the medium pieces actually well no I went underneath and added this long one but medium pieces medium pieces all the way and then all the way till I got like right here because I knew I stopped right here and then that's when I use their hair but I cut it I cut it so that way I could have a little bump in the back just like it does here see and I left these but with this one I kind of went after like this it was nothing but the six inch you see except I, I kind of you know you could play with this a little bit you see see the purple and I used the closure they gave me because I actually like the closure that they gave me no yeah it does come with the closure I think yeah now one thing I don't like that you do sensational give us a free closure with all the all the hair come on now now y'all getting ridiculous anyway that's that's all the hair that I have to show you and um, I hope you enjoy my video. I really do. Next time, I promise I will have to make a tutorial video, which I'm going to do with this one. I got the wrong one. I should have got the 6 inch, but I'll make it work. The 1B uh, blue with the 27 uh, 1B. And I'm going to go with the Riri style. She had a big little hump thing going on. That's what I'm going to go for. So stay tuned for that video next time. Bye, you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. And leave comments, subscribe, whatever. Bye.